Good morning! Oh, sorry! Good afternoon! How's it going? Right, today, Sunday, the 21st of June, and it's Father's Day in the UK. And today, or I should I say this afternoon, what we're going to do is, we're just going to have a little scout about here on the, uh, on the Mersey, the River Mersey that flows through Warrington Town Centre. Uh, on the other side of that, where you can see the old uh, co-op in the background there, on the other side of the road, that's uh, Nuxford Road that, which leads down to Victoria Park, which is that way, and that way is towards Warrington Town Centre. So I've just come through the retail park called Wharf Industrial Estate and uh, just having a little drive round and I thought, well, yeah, look at this. Here's a really old lock system that's part of the River Mersey that's based in Warrington. So, van's parked up over there. I'm only literally here, right at the side. So what I'm going to do is today only for a few hours, I don't know how long this video is going to last, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do this little lock here, see what's going on in here. It's right, like I say, it's right, right on the edge of the retail park, and that's, this at the back of me, it's called Wharf Industrial Estate, uh, in Warrington Town Centre. So I thought, I've never been round here before, and it's right on my doorstep. So as you can see, a little, little way there, this lock system. How's it going? You know what I Late one today. Oh, it's half past one in the afternoon. And because uh, it's been Father's Day, been round to see me dad, drop him a nice little bottle off, drop his card off and all of that lot. So uh, I thought, while I'm up this way, the old fella only lives in Owley, I uh, thought I'd have a little dip here and see what's going on. So uh, let's get on with it. Right then, so. I actually got put onto this place as well by one of my subscribers, uh, Jimmy Lawley, who's uh, been leaving some cracking comments for me on some of my uh, videos. And he suggested try up near the way, near Latchford, have a little go, see what it's like. So, Jimmy, this one's on you, mate. Let's give it a go and see what we can find here. I've not got all the stuff out of the van, don't need to. Just got my magnet, my grappling hook, green bucket. Let's get on with it. Let's have a first few live chugs and see what happens. Right all then. First chug, nothing, but the magnet was hitting onto some things there then, so keep going.
the magnet come loose. I'm getting loads of bits of fencing, you know, barbed wire fencing. Maybe there's a boatload of it down there, so I think uh, I might try and move a little bit further down there when it's a bit uh, calmer. OK, so where we was just where that lock was, I was getting caught on a lot of things and they were not moving at all. I think it's a job for, like, two or three lads around there. I'm going to get my magnet lost easy. So what I've done is the lock was that way. We've actually come before where the weir is now. Now, on the other side of the... The Mersey here now. You can see that building over there in the background. That's the old weir lock. What adjusts the weir up and down. Uh, so that's how far away we are from the weir. But on the opposite side as well is where Victoria Park is. And you can just see in the distance, you might be able to see the trees where there's a couple of fishing pegs. So what I've done is I'm now going to go off here instead. It's fairly decent to get down here, and I'm just going to uh, swoop this area in front of me here, where it's nice and calm, and uh, see what we can find here instead. OK, then. OK, about four throws in there, and uh, I've just got my first find, which is an old square nail, an old square flooring nail. That's, uh, that's my first find up to now. Very deep here, very, very deep. First bottle top. Feels like there's a lot of branches in the water as well. It's probably all washed its way down, all the way down the Mersey before it obviously gets to the weir. It's all slowed down and piled up. So I'm getting a lot what feels like branches because as, you, as you're coming up, you can feel it bouncing and then catching. So looks like that's what the score is. Hi, you Okay, so. I thought my uh, magnet got stuck underneath a rock at the side of the, the Mersey. So I got the winch out, started winching it. I don't know if you can see in the water there, but suck it down and I'll show you. It wasn't a rock. It's actually a chair and table in the water with seats all the way around it. Six seats and a table. Now my magnet is stuck solid underneath the seat, right down there in the water. So, I'll readjust me grappling up and see if I can get it out. But look at that, table and chairs, six, six chairs and a table. How mental is that? And also, it looks like there's somebody else's rope attached to it as well. So, uh, I wonder if somebody else has had a magnet in here and it's uh, stuck on it. Let's see if we can get it out. <laughs> OK, so uh, it's coming out slowly, as you can see. Table and chairs. Hopefully now it's... Uh, I tell you what, it's some, some weight in that. really is, but also... There's another rope on the side of it. Somebody else's magnet has got caught on it by the look of it. So let's see if we can uh, get this closer to the side and then pull it right out. Marvellous. Right then, that's the magnet that's come off it. Only a small one. That was wrapped round one of the legs on this table. So if you can see now what I've done, I've got my ratchet off that tree down to where the table is. I've got my grappling hook tied to another tree on the other side. So now, somehow, I've got to try and drag it out. Don't know how we're going to do this, because it's massive. Right then, so, it's now been nearly 40 minutes. And this is how far I've got it out up to now. As you can see, there's the table and the chairs. I've got it strapped back to the tree there, and it's slowly, slowly coming out. I'm getting it out about a foot at a time, but it's coming, it's coming out. So, the little magnet that was attached to this table, little carbide on the end, on the other end of the rope, which is what, best part of, really about three metres long, the rope, it's a corkscrew. 
What's going on there? Little, little wine bottle corkscrew. Mental. Right then, so, almost an hour and a half that took to get that cheeky thing out. Have a look at that. Six chairs, big table, big steel sections underneath. How mad is that, eh? Only the magnet man will do. How good's that? Marvellous! Said I was only going to come out for a couple of hours. I don't know. That was a proper mission. Really enjoyed getting that out then. I had my winch, bringing it in three foot at a time. And then I had a ratchet strap off the back of a wagon, tightening that up, loosening my me, me winch, pulling it in a little bit more, a little bit more. Kid you not, bloke there now has just been fishing a little bit further down, and he said, we're glad that's out now, because people were getting stuck on that all the time, with the gear. But hey, I got a magnet out of it. How good's that? Right, everybody, say hello <laughs> to Mr. Stiula. Hold on, let's get it nice and square. There we go. Mr. Stiula and Hank, baby Hank. Hello, little lad, hello. Hello, hello. What are you doing there? Are you out with a walk with your dad, eh? Have you gone for a walk with your dad? Have you? Have you? Marvellous. Here's Pops. Come to say hello. And Hank, Hank giving it full welly as well now. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, lad, I know. I know. Right then, so that's it now. Game over. Right, I'm just tidied up now where I was just uh, where I've just got rid of that table and size me scraper. If you look here, on the end of my scraper, there was a crab. There was a crab inside the table, one of the table legs. Little crab. I didn't know. I didn't know he could get crabs. Yeah, there he is, look. Wriggling upside down. So I'll tell you what, that little chap, he's going back in the water. He is. There you go, Mr. Crab. Crabs in the River Mersey. Never heard of that before. How mad's that? Right, get the sun there. There we go. Bye then. Cracking day again, only a few hours, what, four hours we've had today. That's enough, especially with that big table. Uh, thank you for watching. If you don't mind, give us a thumbs up. There's only a short video today, as you know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and take it easy.